The Gravenhurst Women's Centre really came about for the need of women in Gravenhurst that needed a place to come to. They discovered that from, from the Huntsville, Bracebridge and Gravenhurst, that actually in Gravenhurst there were a lot of um, poverty-stricken families and that there was a greater need here, that we needed, there wasn't the other services that were offered for a place to women to come to. We provide lots of resources and uh, refer you to people or offer financial, um, all sorts of things, support and resources for a woman. I came to the Gravenhurst uh, Women's Centre with um, an idea, a project plan, and that was to, uh, to gather gr a group of women together and share the untold stories and uh, hear the unheard voices of women, because I feel that still to this day, even in 2016, there's still um, you know, a need to, to hear you know, what, uh, what women think about, what they dream about, what, they're, what, they, what they imagine, and also for women to become storytellers of the past. Basically the centre is a not-for-profit service, so we definitely rely on donors um, and fundraising and things to keep open and to keep on top of things and keep the actual centre running and open. But we are really fortunate la lately and we applied for a grant to the Terence Haight Foundation and luckily we got a chunk of money that leaves us to stay open and keep running for a while. But obviously, you know, it's an ongoing task to create funding and things to keep the service open and operational. I'd like to know that it's permanent. I mean, it, you know, it would be wonderful. Um, in smaller communities and rural communities like this, we find that women often actually have to really work hard to stay connected with community. And they do quite a good job of that. But in the process, their confidence, their sense of themselves, their authority as leading people in their own community needs to still be strengthened. We do things like clay workshops, uh, we've done uh, hands and nails pampering day. Uh, we've got also coming up some financial budgeting types of uh, classes uh, at the end of May. And a women's outreach group is actually going to be starting as well in May and June. So that would be a course running for five to six weeks. We update often on the Facebook page of what's happening. Hopefully we're going to open up a website soon, but the Facebook page is Gravenhurst Women's Centre. And yeah, like us on Facebook page and that would be great.